All right, here's today's training. This is my training. Uh, what I'm working on is just uh, front squats, but I'm focusing on trying to really rebuild the posture, uh, making sure that my lats are engaged, riblets, core, glutes, all that fun stuff. So here's the process. So the first thing that I do is always just see how I would normally move. So I just grab the slam ball, just started squatting. I'm not thinking of anything. The only thing I am assessing is just to feel when I'm squatting down and going up, like what is tight for today? So, so now what I'm doing is taking that slam ball, trying to get my lats on, get everything in the right position. So you'll see I'm trying to move my hip in the right position where I can flex my hamstring glutes, root my feet through the big toe joint. And then I'm opening up my lat, getting an active posture, active T-spine extension. So I could really just compare the two. So right now, really feeling tension in the whole body, turning on muscles that didn't really want to work. So really using the slam ball to address certain things that I need really arching harder getting that left lat so you'll see compared to the other video i'm really just focusing on firing the lats the posture the core it looks kind of excessive but in again when you're in an olympic lifting posture you will have that chest opened up the t-spine opened up the hips are back but the key is that everything's in this position under tension. So a lot of people will start to open up their T-spine, trying to get their elbows up, the lats on. They start feeling it in the lower back or their hips. It's because they're not trying to tighten up the muscles first. So then I apply the same concept to the barbell. I'm just going to start moving the old way. Now I'm moving the way I've done it for years, but the key is I'm looking for things. See how disconnected I feel so you'll see the elbows are up the fingertips are are there but there's really no tension at all that's just a reminder that's how you become your best coach is you are aware when it gets too heavy or when you're going back to bad mechanics so now I'm making that adjustment to compare the two so I'm already setting that posture the riblets the lats some like to call it t-spine or uh, T-spine extension, good posture, whatever it is. But you can see the difference from the one before. I have a full grip on it. My posture is maintained. There's a baby fox in the way. That's just dad life right there. So from here, you can see my upper back engaged. I'm trying to make sure I root my feet through the ground so that my hips, my knees are moving together. And my lower back is protected like an arch in a bench press because my abs are on. I like to come up with a little bit more force because when I have everything firing, everything's in position, you can really oscillate the bar or lift it off of you. Same idea. This is the heaviest I'll go to do bad reps, uh, but you'll see that's elbows up. I'm just trying to feel the tension going real slow with just the traditional elbows up. And it did not feel good. I think I was shaking my head there because it's probably all in my shoulder, my neck, my lower back, all fun stuff. So... You can see here, I'm re-engaging all the muscles that I primed. That's why we call them primers with a slam ball. And from here, I'm really loading the lat. Not only loading, but we call it an active posture. So as I'm descending, I'm pushing my lats, my riblets, my posture up into that bar. So now here are some working sets. I think this is the one where... This is 225 now. Uh, I felt pretty good on the first one. And then let's see if the second or third one. So this is the first one. I'm fighting it. I feel everything on. And I think right here it starts to collapse a little. See that readjustment? It's very subtle. But the, the difference is that I'm starting to feel more like that, that bad 135. And then the left side kept hitting first, which is also an indicator. You guys see that? The left side hit first. 
because I really felt the left side collapsing. So another set at 225. I think I got about two really good reps here where I didn't have the shifter in balance. So from my other videos, you can see my training, my left side caves down or collapses down. So I'm really trying to find that left lat today. So those reps were good. My left lat was on fire today finally in a in a catch of this power clean position. So now at the end of my session, uh, just a drop set. We call it resetting or functional bodybuilding or fix fit jack. There's many names, but the idea is figure out what wasn't working and then from the workout and then blast the weak link. So now I'm reinforcing that left lat and just giving it reps, keeping that good posture. My left lat is burning like hell right now and just keep repping it out one max set because if that gave out first, then that's what I need to focus on. So this is definitely left lat, left riblet. Try not to lose any tension on that side. Second set, another thing I'm always working on too is the lower body of the Olympic lift. So yes, I'm maintaining good posture, but from here I'm flexing glute and VMO. A lot more intention and activation. And you'll see by the end of it, when I come off of that, where there's pure tension right here, no loss of tension in glute, hammy, and VMO. My butt was on fire after this. That's it.